Hello lovelies, welcome once again to Next Step with Cherry. I want to say a very big thank you to my old viewers. I wanted to say thank you for your comments and your likes and your shares. I want to say thank you. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, you might want to subscribe because I'll be updating and uploading a lot of educative things a lot of educative videos so if you're looking for like a fully funded scholarships so you're looking for like jobs abroad sponsored visa then you, this is the channel for you because i'll be uploading just that so in our previous videos we talked about fully funded scholarships in europe you might want to check the, check them out and also like uh, jobs in uh, canada you might also want to check them out but today we will be going to Finland and Finland is a country that is close to it is in, it's in the northern part of Europe so it's close to Sweden and Norway and also like uh, close to Germany so in this job the job list is in Finnish but the job is in English like you know it does not really matter if you can speak uh, if you can speak English and also like Swedish it's okay if you can speak just English it's okay so what you might want to do is I will leave the link on the description button you just click on that link it will lead you to this place this is the first page link and it will lead you to this place you can read whatever you want to read and then if you have any questions or if you have something you want to ask you can click on this place and then you can ask this HR or what I might want to do is just to click on this search button that is uh, uh, after this type of employment or you can click on industry to search the one that you want. But the thing is that you might need your laptop to, to apply for this because if you use your laptop, it can translate to English. But if you use your phone, you cannot translate it to English. So what you will do is just click on this search button. I've already opened it here. And then you can see all the jobs listed. So if you look at it, as I said, if you look at it, you will see that it's in, it's all of them are in Finnish. They have 330 jobs and they are in Finnish language. So what you will do is just right click your mouse and you will see translate to English and it will translate everything to English. So you can see it now, production worker for summer jobs, back office, uh, office tasks. This one, you can apply to that and, uh, and uh, for summer jobs, you can apply. Most of these summer jobs are like six months or a year job, but if you do well, they can leave you as a permanent, as a permanent uh, worker. So you might try, to, you might want to apply. Summer workers in industry, most of them are like summer workers, but, but if you do well, they can leave you to work there. So they have warehouse workers, traffic station workers, and. Uh, and waitresses they have workers at tra traffic stations and like every other work work uh job things you can also click on this view uh view more jobs and then you can apply so how to apply is that for example if you want to if you want this job this production worker you just click on this plus so if you click on this plus it will bring out this then you can click on this read more and apply for job so I have already, you just click it, I've already opened it here and it should lead you to this page. So it leads you here. What you have to do again is right click and change it to English. So it changes it to English and then you can read what the job is all about. And after reading what it's all about, you can read uh, the requirements, a valid occupational safety card, uh, brisk, whatever, whatever, we offer diverse, whatever, whatever. You can then read and then you can apply for a job. So another way of applying for a job, if you look at it and maybe you, don't, you can apply as many jobs as you want. But if you look at it and you don't want to be applying it one after the other, what you can do or after applying, I would advise you after you finish applying those jobs, you can go back to the home page here and then you will submit you can click on this place and do send an open application. So this open application is more like if they have, like if you send all your requirements, you have to fill a form. So after filling the form, you, yeah, this is the form. You have to fill this form. And after filling the form, it's required that you have a driver's, driver's license. It's a big, you know, a big goal for people. Then you can put your language skills and professional cards, uh, job qualifications, then you can put like the interest that you have you want always put this hotel and restaurant businesses because they like 
uh, what is it called, like uh, management and service businesses, they are always a good way to get a job abroad. Then you put all this and your work experience, you can put that. And then here, what you know how to do, you can put that office application. Then salary request, you can try to put something and uh, applied work. Uh, if you want a uh, permanent and you just have to like click as many as you want and then you can describe yourself. Make sure you describe yourself, you know, like related to the jobs that you want to offer. And remember to click on this summer job too, because most of the jobs now are summer job, but they can leave you for like a permanent position. And and you can upload your LinkedIn, uh, your LinkedIn profile and other profiles. And here you can upload your uh, CV. You can upload your CV and any other document, like any other document of your business or document of things that you've done in the past. You can as well upload them. So and then you can send. And after that, you can click on send. So you might also want to talk to the. You might also want to ask the the HR to know if they have something that you want. So these are the two ways that you can apply for the job. First is just to click on this search, as I said, and you follow the steps to search for a job and you apply. And second is to leave an open application. So what this open application does is that whenever there is a job that fits what you that fits what you are doing or what you applied for, then they will contact you. So it's better like you do the two. You apply for the job as well as leave an open application. So with that, we come to the end of today's uh, knowledge job hunt. Uh, remember to click on the subscription button and uh, good luck to you.